What's going on guys? I'm back with some more Jackhammer Road to Glory here late in the season, his junior year. And we have a late season battle against the Michigan Wolverines for the Little Brown Jug. So, we're almost to the end of the junior season. One more year left after this for Jack Hammer. Playing for Minnesota, who's struggling right now. 4-5, and five, had a little losing streak, and then got a win over Iowa to get the Florida Rosedale back in Minnesota. But we got a big matchup here against a ranked Michigan team. And so we head into the action here. And the Gophers early in the game turn it over and Michigan has the ball inside the red zone. A quarterback, I believe, is Devin Gardner. Pitches out to a running back who breaks off of a tackle by Jack Hammer. I went for a big hit instead of a wrap-up, and that one's going to lead to a Michigan touchdown. So early on here, it is 7-0. And now Jack trying to play a little zone defense, and... I give up a reception there. Should just play the deeper receiver in that situation. And now second and five, handoff to the running back. Jack's on the other get him. He takes a big hit from the safety. But that's after picking up a first down and much more. Now second down and five. The Gophers trying to kill this option play. And they do successfully bring it up a third down and eight. Hammer back in zone coverage. And the quarterback is sacked. Pretty good coverage around the board. And Michigan kicked a field goal. And the Gophers scored a touchdown making it seven to ten. So now back on defense. And Hammer runs past the running back. If I could have wrapped him up there, that would have been huge because this one is going to go the distance. And it's 17-7, to quick run for a touchdown for the Wolverines as the Gophers are back on defense trying to slow down this offense as they get their way back into Gopher territory with a pass to the receiver. And now first and 10, a new set of downs, play action, and Hammer, he's going to go in and get the sack on Gardner, and that is one of his rare sacks, actually. He doesn't get too many playing middle linebacker, but they continue to work their way down the field. Third and seven, a run will go for a first down. Hammer can't get to the running back until it is too late. Now third down and goal, looking to the end zone, and I was just going to try to cover the goal line, and I was just hoping one of those guys could play good man coverage, and well, that's my fault right there. It's 24-7 to seven after that bad coverage. And then the second half, now Michigan still airing it out, and they get a big pass downfield, 24-7. to Hammer comes through and hits the running back here clean for a nice loss of three yards. They'll set up a third down and 11. And look at the screen blocks they had set up, but the quarterback was sacked, luckily, for the Gophers, and they only allow a field goal and answer with a touchdown. So now it's a 13-point deficit, but it's not going to mean anything if they can't stop this Wolverines offense as they once again get back into Gophers' territory. So now first down and 10 over the middle. Interception, but it looked like it was for Jack Hammer. It was actually someone who dropped back into coverage. You can see here on a quick replay, I thought Jack had it at first. I got really excited, and then the Gophers scored another offensive touchdown just like that down by six, 2-12 to go. Gophers need a stop, and on third down, the receiver drops a first down catch. So we go now to a super sim, a 15-yard penalty, a 19-yard pass, and a touchdown. Minnesota scores quickly, and now they all of a sudden have a one-point lead on the Wolverines, have made a comeback. Here's Gardner taking off. He's going to be able to pick up the first down and move the chains. The Wolverines just need to get into field goal range to get this victory with just over a minute to go. Another pass to a receiver. He's outside and is going to cross the 50-yard line before he is taken down. So now a minute 14 left. Spreading out the field. Michigan looking to go deep. One-on-one -on -one coverage. And it's intercepted by a Gophers defender. Hammer lights up the receiver. And the Gophers are going to go on to win the game and win the battle for the Little Brown Jug. Over number 20 ranked Michigan, what a game for the Gophers. The offense really came alive and helped the Gophers get that victory 28-27. to So after that big game, they go now to play Northwestern, another Big Ten game here on the road. And the Wildcats trying to set up a screen pass. Running back gets outside and Jack Hammer comes in and lays a big hit. Fumble on the play, the Wildcats would recover. That drive would not lead to any points. We go into the next drive for the Northwestern offense, and a pass outside away from Jack Hammer is going to be good for a first down as he gets out of bounds. Another new set of downs, pass deep middle. That is going to be good for another first down as the Gophers are now backed up. The Northwestern Wildcats are in the red zone. Another pass over the middle. I got concentrated on one receiver and forgot about a guy coming up on the deeper route. And that would lead to a Northwestern touchdown now as Hammer makes another tackle on the running back. Third and five now. And Northwestern gets another conversion to pass to the receiver as he gets out of bounds. And now third down and four close to midfield. Hammer trying to cover the sideline. Throw goes the opposite way for another open man. And that is good for another Wildcats first down. Option time now for the Wildcats. The Gophers kill it, and it is a fumble, but the Wildcats recover once again and catch a break. So third down and 10. Hammer coverage over the middle, but the pass goes to the end zone. There's two Gophers defenders there, but the pass is still caught by the receiver for another touchdown. And we're just before halftime now. 
But the Wildcats not done yet. They're going to go deep before the half, and that is a complete pass into Gophers territory that will lead to a field goal. To the second half we go, the Gophers offense has not put any points on the scoreboard, and the quarterback just continues to throw the ball to the other side that Jack Hammer is not on and getting big chunks of yards every time. Now going to the ground game, and Jack is there to help meet the running back, but it's still an eight-yard gain. Now third down and nine handoff again. Hammer is there to help stop him. That will lead to another Northwestern field goal but with the offense getting no points the Gophers cannot win this game this way as once again they try to stop the offense of Northwestern hammer they're making the tackle but it's still a solid six yard gain bringing up third down and nine a couple of plays later Wildcats going through the air and the pass is knocked away by Gophers defender should have picked that and taken it to the house but Still no points on the Gophers offense. It's not looking good right now for a team that just beat the number 20 team in the nation. A big rivalry in the Big Ten. And now I've come out absolutely flat against the Northwestern Wildcats. That's not helping the Gophers' hopes if they want to go to a bowl game. Sitting at 5-5 five and five after the Michigan game. And now it's just not getting any better for the Gophers here late in the game. Another catch for a first down as he breaks a couple of tackles. Now third down and goal, and that's going to be a handoff, and into the end zone goes the running back. So it was an ugly game overall for the Gophers. I think they will still go to a bowl game if they go 6-6. Six and six. I'm not sure. You guys should let me know in the comment section how that all works. I'm not all familiar with that system, but... One more game in this regular season, the junior year for Jack Hammer. It's against Penn State as the Gophers try to go to 500 on the season. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.